Okay, in this uh, little video here, I'm going to show you how to fix DFX segmented lines. How to get them to all join up so you can use them in uh, other software such as Easel, which a lot of people have been asking questions about. So let me start by getting rid of this text here. And I'm going to drag this gear in. And it's going to take a second because this is a many segmented line gear. So as soon as it opens, I'm going to zoom in here for you. And if I click in here, you'll see that it's a bunch of single lines. And we want those all to join up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to box around. You'll see everything is selected. Then I'm going to go Path, Combined. Now that's all one piece, but it still is not what we're looking for. Now we're going to go Path, Path. <laughs> stroke to path and you won't see anything happen but it's happening and depending on the complexity and the size of your your artwork this may take a while so this is fairly small it'll go fairly quick now with this selected again I'm going to go path break apart and you'll see that it turns blue and it's like well what is that so Next I'm going to do is go down here and click this red X, which is no fill. I'm going to hold the shift key and click black. And now you'll see there's all separate shapes. It's all broken out into pieces. But when it does this, it creates a duplicate, duplicate copy on top of the first one. And I'll show you how to do this. So I'm going to just select that one. And I'm going to press the delete key. Now you'll notice it's kind of a little bit lighter. I'm going to do that here and here and here there there and there there we go now depending on what type of accuracy you're looking for with your drawing I mean if you were going to use this gear in a project you might want to leave it as, as is but if you're looking to speed things up we're going to, I'm going to show you something here you'll notice that this particular path just that little shape there has 350 nodes which is way too many for something that size. And on the gear itself, that has 5,374 nodes. And I'll show you those nodes by double clicking on it. And you'll see all the little nodes. Now I'm going to hit Control L. Now it's down to 74 nodes, which is perfect for what I want this for. If it's just for artwork, fine, because it will tweak stuff just to scotch but it'll make the file run a lot faster now if I go around and select this two three four five six I'm gonna hit control L well I won't do that yet I'll click one and you'll see all the nodes and I'm gonna hit control L again oops and you'll see that it goes down to a lot less nodes and I believe if you select this 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 and this and hit control L it took them all down at the same time you don't want to do this with huge objects though because it'll take well it'll seem like it takes forever it'll eventually work its way through but that's it it's as easy as that to do it if you want I can do it one more time really quick let me get rid of this I'm going to bring in my gear again, which will take a second. And I'm going to go up here. <clears throat> Since it's already boxed, I can go like that. Go path, combine, path, stroke to path, path. No, oh, it's, it's still joining. OK, path, break apart, I'm trying to go a little too fast. It'll turn blue, click the red X, unfill, shift key, black, get rid of the top layer, one, two, three, four, five, that and that, and that. Now I'm going to do the whole thing at one time, control L. Oh, done already. Okay, and there you go. They're all closed paths. Everything's closed up. You should be able to take that into your program that 
wants a closed path, and that should do it for you. I hope this helped a lot of you, or some of you, maybe one of you. Anyway, have a good day, and until next time, see ya!